So you're thinking about moving to Ben and you want to know a little bit more about the culture, the vibe, the history of Ben, maybe get some entertaining factoids within your arsenal so you know a little bit more about what Ben's all about to make you look like a local. Well, that's exactly what we're going to be covering in today's video. Today's video is all about the five iconic landmarks all within the city limits of Ben. So if this video sounds interesting, stick around. We're going to be getting after that right now. Hey, if this is your first time to the channel and you want to know everything there is to know about living, eating, sleeping, working, playing, the good and the bad of living in Bend, Oregon, then subscribe to the channel and tap that notification bell below so you can be the first to know about the current market here in Bend, Oregon. My name's Ryan and I've lived in Bend for over 30 years. My business partner, Zach and I, we get calls and texts every day from people just like you looking for help in making their move to Bend or anywhere else in Central Oregon and we absolutely love what we do. Whether you're moving in nine days or 90 days, give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email, or even set up a Zoom meeting. We'd be happy to help you make that smooth move to Bend or anywhere else nearby. So like we stated in the intro, today's video is about the five iconic landmarks that make up Bend, Oregon. Now, Bend first incorporated in the, in the early 1900s. It was a logging town, a rancher's town, okay? And it's gone through several different changeovers over the course of time. Now Bend is more of a tourist town, but there's a lot of industry here. So people move here, they live here for a reason. They love the outdoor amenities. Obviously Bend is in a fantastic location where we're at on the West Coast. It truly is a popular place to live based off of the weather, based off of the climate, based off of our proximity to Seattle, to San Francisco, to LA. Um, for a multitude of reasons, Bend is absolutely an amazing place to be. But before that, uh, it was. It started out as a logging town, and we've gone through a lot of different um, changes over the course of time. Today, I want to talk about five iconic landmarks that are within the city limit to give you a better understanding of what we're all about. This is an entertainment video. Hopefully, you get some interesting information out of it. Let's get after it right now. Let's start with the first of five. The Tower Theater is the first iconic landmark that is Bend, Oregon. When you see that thing downtown, it's a 40 foot tower. The old historic movie theater opened up in 1940, back when Highway 97 went right through downtown. It was the original, okay, and still lives today. It's one of the older buildings in the entire town. The beaming neon lights make it a very iconic landmark for downtown. It's a 460 seat venue. It's been renovated multiple times. It's gone through a lot of ebbs and flows, a lot of ups and downs to the point where it was almost torn down and completely eliminated. But there were plenty of people that wanted to see it stay, local Bend people that loved it and wanted to keep it there. And still it's thriving now as a result. It hosts all kinds of concerts. It hosts business conferences. It'll host lectures, certain types of educational lectures. There's events going on on a regular basis, but to me, what it really represents is the city of Bend. It is a beautiful, it's a beaming neon sign that is downtown and it represents downtown Bend to the fullest. So that is the first iconic landmark of Bend on our list in video today. The second iconic landmark of Bend, Oregon is Blockbuster Video. Yes, the last, the one and only Blockbuster video store in the entire world. At one point in 2004, there were over, over 9,000 Blockbuster video rental stores in the entire country, maybe even beyond that into the world. But for that to go from 9,000 and shrink all the way down to one, and that one being right here in Bend, Oregon, is pretty remarkable. It's now a historic landmark. There are thousands of YouTube videos every single day that are published that talk about people just checking out the old Blockbuster video, the only one that left that is left and remains. Pretty remarkable. We used to have multiple Blockbuster videos in town. Now we just have this one and something tells me it's going to stick around for a long time just because it's become so famous. But again, 
what used to be an entire industry video home video rental has now been completely demolished thanks to streaming services like netflix among others but the point is is that it still has one left today you walk in to that store and you you smell that nostalgic smell of the video rental store that you went to as a child on a friday night or a saturday night to figure out what movie you were going to rent and watch at home you can do that in one place only in this entire world and that is bend oregon so that is the second iconic landmark of bend blockbuster video the last remaining video store of its kind in the entire world it's right here in bend pretty remarkable the third iconic landmark of bend oregon the old mill smokestacks so if you're driving on the parkway if you're up on aubrey butte or if you're up on pilot butte you see these smokestacks they are everywhere they represent bend it is truly the original landmark of its kind when it came to industry okay those smokestacks represent what bend was when it first settled back in the early 1900s these smokestacks were the original mill there were multiple mills down in that area it's right next to the river but that's what the industry of bend was in the early days it was logging it was mill it was ranching logs were cut up in the mountains and they were floated down the deschutes river and they were picked up right there where the smokestacks are and put into production that's what bend was and that's how bend became a town in the early days it's obviously changed since then it became a tourist town now it's a town more of destination people want to live here they want to figure out a way to live here because of what bend is the outdoor amenities the sunshine the location to so many different things bend is an absolute magnet for new people wanting to relocate here but it started with mill the mill and the smokestacks represent that that's why it is one of our iconic landmarks here in bend the old mill smokestacks today it's actually the rei store underneath those smokestacks but that is exactly why it remains an iconic landmark today those smokestacks will always be standing 200 feet tall they represent bend to the fullest okay the fourth iconic landmark within the bend city limits is pilot butte a almost 500 foot tall cinder cone right in the middle of town it's a mountain to some people depending on where you're coming from but it is an absolute awesome place to go take a hike on a daily basis you wind up you just take the road up or take the trail up but it's about a 15 to 20 minute walk and it gives you one of the most spectacular views in all of central oregon 360 degree view you can see all of central oregon you can see the mountains to the west you can see smith rock and redmond to the north you can see powell butte to the east you can see sun river to the south an absolute great vantage point a great place to hike and get some exercise thousands of people hike it every single week and for good reason it is close to everything people get there it's a state park great parking great place to go have a barbecue down below but also just a fantastic landmark that represents bend to the fullest pilot butte in the middle of bend a mountain within the city there's another one called aubrey butte but pilot butte is more historic it is an iconic landmark and that's why it's on this list okay the final iconic landmark of bend on today's list is drum roll please the deschutes river literally the reason why people settled here in the first place was and is the deschutes river it is the name of the town the bend in the river is where ben got its name from in the first place the river today goes right through town the old mill district is next to it downtown bend is right next to the river it literally is the centerpiece of this entire town there are houses on the river historic houses newer houses all kinds of property on the river within the bend city limits proper that love and are near the river the Be the deschutes river it truly is the most remarkable landmark within the city limits of bend today thousands of people use it on a daily basis sometimes even tens of thousands in the summertime it is truly a magnet for tourism and for outdoor activity the deschutes river is an absolute mecca and is the number one iconic landmark in the city of bend
So that wraps up our list today in our video. I want to thank you guys for watching. A little bit out of the ordinary. We're just doing some interesting videos right now, talking about Ben, trying to give you as much information as we possibly can while you're doing your due diligence and learning more about Ben in Central Oregon and trying to figure out where the best place for you to move to is within Central Oregon. Zach and I are here. We would love to represent you. We're here to help as much as we possibly can. Our goal with this channel is to provide as much content context and much information for you while you're doing your research before making the big move. If you want to give us a call, it starts with you guys. Please do so. Our contact information is in the comment section below. You can call us, you can text us, you can send us an email, or you can even set up a Zoom meeting. We want to be your resource for helping you make that transition from where you are to where you're going to be in Central Oregon. And that's our goal at the channel. Help you find the right spot that's the best fit for you. Thank you guys so much for watching. If we don't see you around town, we will plan on seeing you on the next video.